Hello and welcome back to Broadside and Assassin's Creed 2. Today we are in Forley and exploring the news items announced to the people of this wonderful city. Aviso! Due to the lack of able-bodied men following the recent campaign and subsequent plague, the company of Foot is offering an extra three quattrini a year on all new enrollments. Things aren't going well for the army of Forley. We briefly mentioned the wars across Italy during the time period of Assassin's Creed games, but as a reminder, the Ezio storyline in this game ends in 1499, which aligns with the first of the Italian wars. This is a potential explanation for the campaign in this message. The Herald also reminds us that there were minor plague outbreaks throughout Europe and across Italy, aside from the major ones. While it would have been preferable for everyone if the plague just swept through and was gone, that just wasn't the case. As to if three quattrini a year would be enough to entice people to join, well, if I had survived war and plague, I would probably just stay home. Viaggiatori, stati attenti! Bandits sighted at the crossroads to Bologna. They are believed to be unemployed Gascon footmen. Exercise caution! Bring wine for passage or cross at meal times. Okay, watch out everybody, we have some unemployed French soldiers working as bandits now. This warning to travelers mentions Gascon footmen, which to me implies the Gascony province of the southwestern kingdom of France. Now we already know that French forces invaded Italy during the Italian wars, and so I don't think this is too far of a stretch. Now apparently the way to avoid these bandits is to either bring wine or cross at mealtimes, which I think is just a mention of a French stereotype. Uh, Bologna is quite a ways to the north of Forli, but it is a bit of a crossroad for those moving about Italy, so it would make sense that they would hang around there. Stati attenti! All members of the fraternity of San Paolo! Due to unfortunate misuse of funds by the sins <clears throat> executed for Moretore, the annual feast in the Grand Hall has been cancelled! Well, I've hunted for the fraternity of San Paolo, but I could only find one for St. Peter. Either way, here is a classic example of something that has haunted humans throughout history, corruption. Apparently, the last leader of this group was caught and executed for misusing funds. Looking at a short list of executions done by the Papal States, albeit a different entity, but similar enough to, uh, I think, give us some sort of clue, it seems that this is a bit harsh especially when contrasted with other executions that were tied to grand conspiracies or witchcraft. But what we need to know is that the annual feast in the Grand Hall has been cancelled, and that's rough. Excommunication! Again, the Brotherhood of Misery, Flagellation, and Poverty of Monte Poggiolo have imperiled their souls, displeasing His Holiness the Pope by not ceding the tithe on annual rents. We haven't talked about this feature of the Catholic Church yet, so may as well cover it briefly here. In the canon law of this church, excommunication is a penalty that excludes the guilty party from all participation in church life. It is supposed to invite that guilty party to come to terms with their mistakes, repent, and make their way back into the fold. Whether or not this happened regularly, I'm not sure, but to the people this herald is speaking to, the word alone would be enough to catch their attention. Now the focus of this excommunication is a group of people living at the Florentine castle on the hill near Forli that overlooks the Monton River Valley. I've never heard of this specific group, but they remind me of the flagellants, people who practiced whipping their skin as a form of penance. This group was more popular in the 1300s, but it never really truly died out, so that could be an explanation. Either way, they have not paid their dues to the Catholic Church and have therefore been excommunicated. Notice of reward! Any having information concerning the whereabouts of Santa Clara's stolen finger bone, the bishop will grant special dispensation and pardon along with future spiritual considerations. Ah, uh, once more we come across the Catholic Church saints and their body parts. Santa Galla is the Saint Galla of Rome, a 6th century Roman widow, known for her generosity. Now, I couldn't track down a gravesite or if her finger bone had ever actually been stolen, but if someone in Assassin's Creed 2 can find it, apparently they're gonna be able to acquire a get-out-of-hell-free card. 
And that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video and check back next time for more Assassin's Creed content.